everybody, welcome back to Bubble Pop Kids. Get ready for some Lil Lockets. Here's a close up of the box. Look at this, you guys, the cutest little pictures ever. And it's called the Lil Lockets Best Friend Party Pack. This set makes 18 different lockets. Here is what it's gonna look like when we open the box. Ooh, <laughs> I am amazed right now. Look at all of these cute little pieces. I don't even know what this is. I've never done one of these sets before. I am so, so excited. Step one, you fill it, and you lock it, and wear it. How oh, cool, I didn't even realize this. It makes necklaces, bracelets, and keychains. Oh, look at these cute little girls with the sparkly hair. They're wearing their little lockets. Whoa, <laughs> this comes with too many pieces. It doesn't look complicated, I hope it's not. It has so many things. We have stickers, little confettis. We have the machine to make it. What do you guys say we open up this box and make some little lockets? Yay, there's tons of things in here. Oh, here's the base. We're gonna organize everything. What else? Box is still, oh, these are like the cute little pieces. I don't even know what they are. They're just so adorable. Things. Oh, here's a little machine. I think it cuts out pictures. You can put selfie pictures in here. And let's get the rest out of here. Woo! So many things. I don't even know what to look at first. What do you guys see? We look at these piece by piece, get this all organized, and get going. Almost forgot. And stay tuned because at the end of this, after we make our jewelry, we have a super cute lip balm pack to look at. It's got bottle pop, bazooka gum, and ring pop. First accessory up out of the box and it is the Little Lockets organizing tray. It's got so many different compartments. It looks super empty but it's going to look so cute and colorful when we put all the accessories in. You also get a photo puncher. Now this is so adorable. You can put a picture of yourself. You put your selfie picture right in the center. Press down. Kind of like a three ring hole punch and you get your perfect size to fit inside of the locket. Get tons of these little jewelry accessories. These are to make watches. Ooh, I'm loving the prints and patterns. Look at these polka dots. We get these. This one's just like a pretty plain purple. We get a green, pink, and then these ones are for the necklaces. They have all of that metallic color inside. Woo, cannot wait to make some of these. Get a sheet of punch out decorations to add into the lockets. Look how cute they are. They are the prettiest pictures ever. Little emojis. Oh, look at that elephant. Rainbow, some sunglasses. Oh, little artist palette. I love that one. So many different choices. Oh, little milk. That reminds me of a Shopkins. I love these. And since this set makes 18 different lockets, we get 18 different toppers. They're all different. I'm loving the colors. Ooh, look at this yellow one. Some have little heart shapes on them. The other ones, ooh, we get stars. Some are just plain. Loving all the color choices here. We get green, pink, blue, turquoise blue, purple, and we got a yellow. Get a sheet of backgrounds to add into the lockets just to give them a pop of color. Oh, look at that little watermelon. These are all so, so different. So each one of them is going to have a super cool look to it. Boop. Here's some metallic-y ones to make them super shiny and sparkly. These are just some more backgrounds you get. Ooh, this looks like a candy. We get some of these little clips so we can make keychains. These are so fun to make with your friends. Even if you're having a birthday party, you guys can sit around and do this. So crafty. We get this little packet of teeny gems. Ooh, these are beautiful. <laughs> They're all different colors. They're hearts, diamonds, and stars. And then we get these, like little letters, so you can put your initials in the lockets. And a tweezer. You can either use your fingers or these to pick these little pieces up almost forgot this one. Very important. This is called a crimper. <laughs> I don't know why it's called that. It's such a funny name. And this is the little device. Super simple looking that we're going to be using to make those lockets. We're going to just start stacking everything, close it up, open it, and it's going to be made. Last but not least, we get the locket backs. They're just these clear plastic rings, and these little ones are going to clip right on top of them. So many pieces here. They are all so cute and colorful. What do you guys see? We pop them into our tray, organize it, and start this. 
Panthers. You can get your little photo puncher and there's a space right here. I really am loving this tree just because I do see there's a spot for every single thing. So here is your little crimper. Ooh, it looks like a gemstone. That pops right in the back and you can also stick your tweezers in this little spot here. I'm gonna take these little necklace cords. They are so pretty and sparkly. I'll put those right here in the corner. Right on top of those, I will put some of the keychain hangers. We'll put a pink, purple, blue, and a green. In this little spot right here, I'm gonna put the locket backs. I think we get 18 of those. Just kind of stack them. Right next to them, I'll put the locket tops. Ooh, they have so many colors. Fit right here. Actually, I think I'm gonna pop these ones out. I have a little extra room here. I'll put those cords. And I have a few more of these little hangers. Pop them here. Over here in the last compartment, we can put these watch bands. Ooh, we get five of them, all different colors. Just fold them up and pop them in. Right here in the first tray, I'll put these little teeny sequins. Right next to it, I'll put all those little letter ones. Ooh, it looks like alphabet soup. And <laughs> these are so metallic looking, cutest colors. Woo! I'm gonna punch all these colorful backgrounds out and put them in each side. have some of those sparkly ones, pop them right in. This whole tray is almost all filled up and organized. The last accessories are these cute little pictures. Gonna pop these out and place them right in these two little spots. We did it. After about five minutes, I popped all these little pieces in and here we go. Our tray is organized, filled with all the supplies. Let's make some. We are doing this. So step one, I'm going to take out my crimper right here in the back. This is the main little tool we're going to be using. Direction C to open this up and get a locket back also need a couple other things. One is a locket back. Here it is. We have to pick out a background. How cute is that little watermelon? And we're going to get our crimper, open it up, put in the locket back right here. Fits in perfectly and pop in the background. I'm going with this cute little watermelon. Just like that. And for you guys making your little best friend necklaces, here is the part where you can add in your own photos. You just put the center where your faces are, pop them out. The little picture is going to come right out and you put it right in the center. Next step, we're going to get a couple little sequences to pop in there and a few of these little cutouts. Oh, how cute. Look at this one. We get a cookie. Ooh, come on. They're so little. Oh, and a little milk. And you just place them right on top. I guess they're going to be floating around. So, so cute. Put a couple little blings in there to make it sparkling. A couple little more. Ooh, this little pink star is so cute. Ah, they're so tiny. I know it came with tweezers, but sometimes these little things are easier with your fingers. A little green one. You got to seal up your locket, so we got to get a topper. How about this pink one? So you're just gonna pop it right on the top. 
close up the crimper and push down. I think our locket is sealed up. Let's open this. Pop it out. There it is. How cute is that? It looks like a little necklace you will buy at Claire's or something. It's got the little milk and cookies. They're sticking together. There we go. We get those little sequins floating around. So adorable. This is kind of like 3D. So for the first one, I think I'm going to make this into a necklace. Our necklace super simple and easy you just string it right through it's got a little clasp on there it's so sparkly Let's make another one next piece of jewelry we're gonna be making a watch you guys are gonna like this one it's so cute it's like a light blue with little yellow polka dots we have to take a locket backing and we have to find one of the watch settings the watch ones are a little different they have two little loopies on each side hmm Okay, let's go with this green one. Kind of looks cute against the blue and yellow. And how about instead of using one of those little super tiny cutouts, we go with a Shopkin sticker. That's going to be so, so cute. So many different characters. Which one to choose? Doing this again and repeating the same steps. Even though we're making a watch, it's just the same process. So I'm going to get this little backing here. Put in my background. I like this like pink and purple chevron. That's kind of cute. We're going with Cheeky Chocolate from season one, one of the cutest little characters ever. I am going to put that right in the center and add in a few little sequences, a little star. Alrighty, I think we got enough stuff floating in there. I don't want to put too much because I don't want to cover up little cheeky chocolate. So I'm going to put the cover on here. Just like that. Close up the crimper. Time to reveal what is this going to look like. Oh, look at this little cheeky chocolate one. So cute. This is amazing because you can actually make your own little Shopkins jewelry. You can use any kind of pictures you have. Little ah, clue out of my hands, got it back. It's like a little floating watch. And to make the watch, I think it's super simple. You just string it on, kind of weave it right through. This little piece, I love the polka dots. Oh, too cute for words. Look at that. We made a necklace watch time for a keychain. I'm going with the pink one. We could use a sparkle background and hmm, we'll go with this yellow, super bright. And reveal. Let's see our keychain. Ooh, <laughs> this one is another cutie. Look, it's got a little bacon and fries. This cute little girl with pink hair. This one's super colorful. And to make the keychain, all you do is just clip this piece right here. There it is, a homemade little locket keychain dangler. Oh, these are so cute. There's so many of these in here. You could make tons. Hang them on your backpack. Such a cute little back to school accessory. Another cute little accessory I didn't use yet is a selfie puncher. You just put the picture in here and you can make all of your friends a locket. You can put their face right in the middle. Cutest little invention ever. <laughs> it really is. We got the watch with cheeky chocolate. We got our little watermelon necklace and our keychain. Out of all three of these, I'm loving the keychain. Let's make another one. Got to get all my supplies. Ooh, we could do a blue one this time. And maybe like a purple. Or a purple with a heart. So many different ones. Ooh, that's kind of cool. We'll use this. Get a couple of these little pictures. Ooh, so tiny. The hardest part is picking these little ones up. They're super small. This is 
like a little back to school while we have some paper, a little calculator, cell phone. And I'll add a B for Bubble Pop, little initial. Time to reveal our second keychain. It's all kind of a back to school theme. Oh, look at that little calculator in there. Adorable. And I'm just going to clip this on here. I think this is the last one. I could literally do this all day. It's so much fun. And we got two keychains. A purple and blue and a yellow and pink. Here's the four little lockets we made today. Two keychains, a watch, and a necklace. I'm just in love with these keychains. They are so colorful. Especially this one. It's got a little bacon in there. So, so funny. If you notice, this thing is filled. There's still tons of supplies in here to make so many more of these. You can just fill them with pictures, and this is like the perfect little treat to bring to a sleepover. You can play with this all night. And there you go, my first ever little locket set. I have to say, I really, really love this. When I first opened the box, I saw so many pieces. My head was spinning. I was like, this is going to be complicated, but it wasn't so simple. Everything is so organized. Made the cutest little accessories. You couldn't even buy things this cute in the store. And it is time for some lip gloss. And I love this one because it's candy and gum flavored. We get bazooka gum, ring pop, and bottle pop. And another thing I love about this, they're all different kinds. There's like a tubey, a lip gloss wand, and a chapstick one. Let's open it. And I have tons and tons of candy lip balms and glosses, but these are completely new. They're not repeats. They are so cool. Look at that bazooka lip gloss. Cotton candy flavored. Let's see, Let's see how the color is gonna be, how it's gonna smell. Ooh, it's a pretty purple. So, so good. Look how sparkly. <laughs> so sparkly, so glossy, and it really does smell like cotton candy. It kind of smells like bubble gum, too. It's a good one. Second one up is the bottle pop. Oh, I love these candies. They're so yummy. And it's strawberry flavored. So, so bright. This one looks kind of clear. Actually, really clear. It's not as glossy as the other one. It does smell good. It smells like candy. It's so sweet. Kind of like sweet tarts. Another cute one for the candy lip balm collection. Third one up is also a new one. I have tons and tons of ring pop ones, but this one's a little different. Looks so cool. Strawberry flavored. Ooh. Ooh, and it's clear. Probably wouldn't give color, but ooh, it smells so good. I think this one smells the best. Smells just like a lolly. Really smells like a lollipop. So, so yummy. So here's the three lip glosses we have. And I can't even pick a favorite. They're all so good. Super sweet. So savvy comes the end of the video, but what a fun one. What's cuter than making your own jewelry and some lip balm? <laughs> My favorite things ever. And we are going to have so many more fun videos coming up on the show. This is Bubble Pop Kids. You can click this big red subscribe button here and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day. Bye.